Hey guys, welcome to my second tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to customize a door panel without needing a sewing machine. So these are some of the basic tools you'll need. Just a square, tape measure, sanding block, straight edge, back tacking strips, stapler, sharp knife, scissors, and your trusty spray gun and some contact adhesive. These are the typical essential uh, items you need for this kind of work. But you could probably get away with a uh, little bit less. Probably do away with a spray gun and just uh, use a paintbrush. Though it uh, is a lot more work and takes a lot longer. But you could make it work. Here's my trim panel. It's another panel donated by my uh, GQ Patrol. It's an ongoing project that seems to be donating a lot of parts. Uh, that's another story. Keeping with the trend of just using what I have available, I'm going to be wrapping it in this blue marine vinyl and using this black here. This is the same black as my last video. And we're going to be doing a two-tone mix. So it's going to be black, blue, black. Now, this can be done just with the basic tools as I was showed before. Pretty much everything's available at Bunnings in your typical hardware store. Only thing you might have a drama with is the sprayable contact adhesive, but that can be uh, uh, you can get it at your local trim shop or your poultry supplier. Now I'll be stripping this and just preparing, just the same as I did in the last video. So check back in after that. Now this board, a little bit different than the other one, has been completely trashed by things uh, hitting it just over time, being a bit of a workhorse for the last 23 years. Ideally, this one should be replaced. Shouldn't be reusing it, but oh well. But it will still look good in the end. I'll show you how we get there. Alright, just like the last video I did, there is a number of defects that we don't want to glue. As it would, uh, we show through to the finished product. So, we've got a big one here. One here. Quite a number of them, actually. Yeah, this is a panel we really shouldn't be reusing, but I will anyway, because I have it, and I don't have anything to replace it with so I'll make it work in the end now it's going to be a three piece cover I'll apply it in three sections which is adds another level of complexity to it as we uh, don't want any of the joints on one of these defects as it's gonna severely hinder the end result but we can work it in the end so I'm gonna draw it a few lines where I think I want this to uh, end up, or the panels to finish, and see if I can end up with something that avoids all these defects and, and look okay. We also want this joint to avoid the speaker hole. So our first one is gonna have to be up high to allow the back tacking strip to actually clear this cover here. So, keeping that in mind, that's what we're working with. Okay, I've got a rough drawing of where I want these uh, panels to end. So this middle section is going to be blue, black at the top, and black at the bottom. First thing we need to do, I need to layer this section with foam, which I've got uh, a roll of 10mm foam sitting up over there. I'm going to be cutting this to the size here and glue it inside these lines. After that, I will be cutting up vinyl and I'll cut it out about 15mm bigger 
and out past that line. That should give us enough room to go up and over the foam and glue it back down past these lines. got the uh, blue vinyl stuck down over top of the foam now so once you get to this point we need to wrap the edges around the side just to lock everything in place it will also make our life easier when we uh, finish up the black sections while we're here we're going to trim it down just to make life easier so we don't have to trim it down after we've already attached it I'm just going to trim it on those lines this one here you should still be able to clear that if this was a little bit closer i'd probably notch in but i don't think we're going to need to do it there so i'll wrap cut and wrap that and I'll show you what's next Okay, now we're here, we need to measure this distance between these two points. And we also need to measure the distance from this point to the top edge here. And now we're going to cut out our black vinyl wider than these sections here, make it bigger than we need, keeping a nice straight edge to make it uh, nice and simple to work with. And once we have those, uh, those uh, pieces cut, we then can tack them into place so we'll be drawing on a line here just as a guide so I can lay the uh, black vinyl upside down facing facing backwards and I'll just put a couple staples just along here just to hold everything in place ready for the back tacking strip I'll do that now and I'll show you how it's done
Okay, we've got the black vinyl just tacked in place. Now we have that sitting there. We can get our cardboard back tacking strip. These strips can be just uh, sourced from your local trimmer, upholsterer, upholstery suppliers. They all, all have them, they're not very expensive. Alternatively, you can just buy a sheet of cardboard and make it yourself. But these are inexpensive to buy, so I recommend just buying them. So you want to finish it just inside the edge here. And same over here. So I'll be chopping them down. And then I'll be giving these a series of staples evenly across just to get an even finish. And I'll be uh, sitting that level with the edge of this vinyl here. Now I have this uh, stripped, tacked in place. I'll grab a uh, section of foam and I'll be gluing that in place. And I'll be tacking that up to the edge of the back tacking strip here. So I'll be just touching the edge. And once that's glued in place, I can cut it to the shape of the board all the way around. And that will allow me to be able to pull this vinyl back over and wrap it on the board. Alright, enjoy the time lapse of me doing that. Okay, got the top half of the uh, the black all assembled. Along the top here, because uh, we're only wrapping around it in small sections, it is quite easy to get a bit of rippling at the top. But usually, if you just massage it, 
and rub the top you can even out this rippling get a, a neater finish but all in all I think it's going to be uh, perfect for the vehicle I'm going to repeat the process down below now you might have noticed I use a different cutting technique for this corner versus that corner now this one being a tighter corner you can use the standard uh, cutting technique I showed in my previous uh, video you can look back and check that out if you want to see that but on this one I cut a series of uh, triangles out of it that's uh, required being a bit of a, a longer corner if it was sharper then I could just go back to the standard uh, cutting method this one here is going to require a lot of uh, the triangles cut out and notched out around here and on this corner it's going to require require the same thing so once I get to that uh, stage on this side I might uh, show you more closely Now that uh, this bottom section is mostly wrapped, I've just left the corners unwrapped. Now, something with a, uh, a wide corner like this, you would typically need to uh, take a series of uh, triangles out of it. So you're cutting a pattern, something like that. But because we've used a 10mm foam, which is probably a bit thick for this application, it's uh, safer if you can stretch the vinyl over a bit and just stick it just to the outside edge of the board there. That way we know where exactly it's gonna, gonna finish. Because if we uh, cut it too close to the board or too deep and it uh, goes down into the foam you will see cuts on the outside of the board but if we don't cut far um, far down enough you'll end up with uh, dog ears and excess material overhanging so I like to just pull it over apply a little bit of tension and figure out where it's going to finish so I'm thinking if we cut a notch down to that mark maybe a fraction past that will be safe. So I'll cut out those notches and I'll show you what I end up with. And if we look closer, all of those cuts finish inside the edge here. And none of this excess is going to be overhanging the board. So none of that should be seen from the other side. So that will be a neat finish. And the same method is used over here. Now where this uh, board has been knocked in and damaged, 
you just have to be a little bit more cautious you don't want to put too much tension on here as it will just collapse and just show the defect on the other side but if we're care careful with how much we pull we should be able to hide that Now I'm just resting my finger underneath and that's squashing the foam and allow me to get an accurate reading of the part I need to nick into this vinyl. Now, I always like to start in the center and just find you it's the easiest way to get a good good finish. And just working my way out. Now we look closer, all the notches should be in behind the board and we shouldn't have any dog ears overhanging. So we should be left with a decent result. Let's flip her over and have a look. Here we, here we have the finished product. And that's how you wrap your board for a three panel look. Now you could do the same color with a different uh, fabric in the center just to break it up or you could uh, put stitch lines down the center of this to uh, get it a different look. Could even do a three color setup whatever your heart desires. But that's essentially uh, the base technique for uh, this style and that could be uh, mix and match with uh, essentially whatever you'd like to uh, achieve. Now if you're wanting to delete the speaker hole that's just where you'd leave it but if you want to keep the speaker and the speaker guard we're going to have to chop out this foam here which is really quite simple and I'll just show you through that. Now, you obviously don't want to press too deep, otherwise you cut all the way through the foam into the vinyl. But I'm just trying to cut about two thirds of the foam. And then I plan to tear the rest of it out. Now we've exposed a vinyl underneath, I'll be gluing in the centre and gluing around the outside here. Now that we're here, we're going to be cutting some lines into here so that we can then wrap the center around. So we'll be making cuts like slow. And we're going to be stopping about 10 mil out. If we push up on here, you'll see that will give us plenty of material to wrap around without exposing any other cut to the other side. And I will also be cutting 
cutting this down just so we don't have an excess of material to cut off later it's always easier to remove it before than it is after a speaker cut out. Now we just need to put our uh, factory plastic cover back in place and then we'll finish that off. And here's the uh, finished product with the speaker cover in place. See that's quite a, a neat finish especially when we compare it to uh, the original cover. Now we can't really see any of the original defects. If you run your hand over, you can feel where the defects are. There's a big one here. But, unless you're running your hands down there, it'd be hard, hard to notice that uh, the board was so defected. Flipping over is quite easy to see all the damage. But, that's an acceptable result with such a uh, rough starting point. And this isn't anything special. This is just something uh, everybody can do with uh, basic, basic stuff. But get in there, give it a crack, and see what you end up with. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment what you want to see next, and. Uh, Enjoy!